What's up, everybody? Poke Chaos here, back for the second of these giant premium collection boxes. We have the Mega Garchomp EX box this time, and it is another big box of craziness. Eight packs. We got our promos, our jumbo promo, our mat, and our coin. And if you did watch the Mega Salamence promo box, I did say that the Packs were a little weird in that one, or at least the pack choice. In this one, one of the packs, I don't know if you could tell in the camera, but one of the packs in this one is even weirder in choice. Again, I don't know if like all Mega Garchomp and Mega Salamence boxes have the same thing, like have the same packs, but it would be weird for one of these packs to be consistent in both boxes so we're gonna get this thing open first thing we have is the jumbo promo mega guard chomp with 210 hp and its attack crimson edge does 180 damage which is pretty good uh, but it does 10 damage to itself for each damage counter on it so that's a little odd are we got plenty of packs including one very strange pack we have our mat and we have show off the coin right there I like that one better than the mega salamence one a bit Um, the Mega Garchomp came out fairly nicely. Again, I have been seeing or hearing reports of people getting some shoddy packaging when it comes to the promos, but mine just seemed to come out fairly easily. So we'll take a look at the Garchomp here, see if it's in any way decent. It has Shred for one fighting energy, does 30, it's not affected by any effects of your opponent's active Pokemon, and Hyper Beam for four, does 100, flip a coin if heads discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. I really believe that should be not a coin flip. And of course we have the Spirit Link. Oh. And the mat. Which Mega Garchomp makes a better appearance on the mat. So we have our eight packs from this Garchomp box. And like I said, one of them is really strange and first and foremost that is x and y base this is the first x and y set we also have primal clash breakpoint steam siege we'll put those last breakthrough another steam siege and two packs of evolutions we're going to start off with x y base with the weird and strange and hopefully even though this was back when the um what am i trying to say the ratios weren't as good maybe we can get something good out of this pack that's spoink ponyard jigglypuff fennekin rhyhorn whirlipede shauna volbeat Reverse rare Macargo, I think. Yep, and an Arbok. So nothing special. So we'll go with Primal Clash. I, I think Primal Clash is when the the ratios started getting a little bit better. Not as good as when the breaks started happening, of course, but 
better. Uh, Vulpix, Sfeel, Bone Edge, Hippopotas, Electrike, Lombre, Torchic, Tentacool, Reverse, Rare, Macargo. So that's two Reverse Rare Macargos in two packs, and a Hollow Electros. I just find it funny that it's two of the same Pokemon. We got Breakpoint. Still looking for. In my mind, I'm still looking for Trevenant Break, even though it's not uh, the best card anymore. We got Krikatot, Petalil, Drowsy, Corsola, Froakie, Lapras, Dewblade, Dunsparce, Reverse Hone Edge, and a Garchomp Hollow, which is a pretty decent card as well. So. Got two hollows out of three packs. And two reverse rares. So, Steam Siege is next. Gotta at least get one good pull. We got Larvesta, Fletchling, Oshawott, Sneasel, Seedot, Pokemon Ranger, Fletchender, Flaffy. Reverse Quancher and a Chandelure Hollow. So three hollows. Then we got our pack of Breakthrough, which may have our good card. I don't have to worry about spoiling myself on that code card. Got Pikachu, Hootoot, Remoraid, Teddy Ursa. Scatterbug, Reserve Ticket, Dedenne, Starmie, there we go. Chestnut Break, and a non holo Raichu. So, not a good card necessarily, but a break nonetheless. I don't even necessarily care to put it in the background. So we got one pack of Steam Siege, and then our two packs of Evolution. Still looking for Mega Charizard full art. One, two, three, one, two. Uh, Steam Siege, I'm not really sure what I would be looking for, but we have Minky, Shellos, Dano, Larvesta, Apom, Quaffles, Lanarith, Duat, Braviary, Reverse Drifloon, and a Dredagon, Non. Hollow. So nothing special in there. Two more packs. Save the Charizard pack because that one's got the full art Mega Charizard in it. That's how it works, right? So we got one, two, three, one, two. Ooh. I kind of hope that's not a good card. It's hard to tell on that on the camera, but that is significant edge whiting on the back of that. We got Charmander, Ghastly, yeesh. Oh, it is a good card. Oh my god. Okay. It's a Mega Slow Bro. That is jacked up. We got Growlithe, Metal Energy, Staryu, Magmar, Venusaur, Spirit Link, Metapod, Misty's Determination, and a Mega Slow Bro that is got some significant edge whiting on the back. That was just straight out of the pack. Uh, but, I mean, Mega Slower is not terrible. And I don't, you know, sell cards anyways, so. A low roll spin does 100 plus, and on the next turn, it does 100 more, making it do 200. But it is now confused. Uh, you could all always use the Chaos Tower Stadium card to prevent the confusion, which means you could then do 200 over and over and over and over and over again. So maybe we can get something good out of this pack. The last pack that doesn't have some terrible edge whiting on it. Turn the video off. 
That's Seal, Diglett, Poliwag, Sandshrew, Voltorb, Blastoise Spirit Link, Energy Retrieval, Magmar, Reverse Pokedex, and a Ninetales Hollow. I'm going to put this in the sleeve because I like the Evolution Hollows. They're very nostalgic to me and I like to keep them in as good of condition as I can just for that reason of nostalgia. So if you guys enjoyed this video, do make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!